And everybody on YouTube, Moniac here. So in today's episode, I'm gonna be showing you guys a lake that I go to. Now in this particular lake, I haven't really caught any bass over a pound. Uh, I usually catch a bunch of dinks here and there, so hopefully I can catch anything, like a good bass, you know, it doesn't really matter. I just wanna show you guys where I fish. So if, even if I don't catch anything, I'll still be showing you guys around, you know, where I fish usually. Um, I already have everything in my, in my truck already ready to go, so it's a beautiful day out. Uh, pretty pretty hot. Today is November the 6th. <clears throat> um, it's Wednesday, November the 6th, so I'm going to be heading out there right now. And uh, I'm going to be using two styles of baits, and they're good, both going to be finesse. And I'll be showing you guys that when I get over to the lake, and I'm going to be showing you my setup as soon as I get over to the lake. So... Hope you guys stay tuned for that and uh, let's head over there, shall we? Guys, I just arrived here at, at uh, it's Santa Fe Dam over here in Southern California. Uh, hopefully they're not charging because they said that starting November they weren't going to charge and they're not. I just saw right now, they are not charging one bit. Yes, that's good because usually they'll charge you 10 bucks or else you have to walk in, see? Free, that's what's up. <laughs> Well, anyways, guys, I'm here. Uh, now I'm gonna go find this good spot. I'm gonna be showing you guys plenty of plenty of places where I'm gonna fish. And uh, look at that. Driving down there right now. So I'll show you guys when I when I get to the lake. I'll show you guys uh, what's up. I'll show you guys uh, the rigs I'm gonna be I'm gonna be using and everything like that. So stay tuned for that, right, guys? So I'm here at the lake finally, and so I'm gonna be showing you guys the two lures I'm gonna be using today. And those two lures are the Gary Yamamoto Bat Ika in watermelon black flakes. Okay, and then I'm gonna be using the Gary Yamamoto three inch Senko worm in cinnamon brown. And I'm gonna be using this one first. Yeah, I've been looking for this bait forever. Three inch Senko worm. I've been looking for that worm for such a long time. Finally found it at the store. I mean, I know you can order it online, but I wanted to see it before I bought it. And right here I have rigged up a Gamagatsu EWG size one hook with six pound line on my ultra light rod. Okay, my micro spin, the one that they sell at Walmart. So that's all I brought today be testing both of these lures out and yes I'm gonna be fishing this Texas rig so real quick I'm gonna rig it up real quick most of you guys already know how to do Texas rig so you just put it in there okay make it weedless a little bit and there it is so I'm gonna be fishing that out here I'm gonna be showing you guys how uh, how I go about doing it Okay, so I'm going to be fishing all the way around there. So I'm going to be going all the way around this, going all the way around, going all the way to where those plants are and all that. So let's get to it. So you got those big old birds right there. My god. That is crazy. I've never seen those guys here. <laughs> yeah, guys, I'm just working my way that way. I started over there. Working my way down that way. In the beginning of the video, I said, I said, um, that it's such a beautiful day. Well, it's not. It's freaking hot. And I did not expect it to be this freaking hot. I'm burning over here. But it's alright. You know, hopefully I catch a fish and it makes it all worthwhile. Just, and there's also rattlesnakes around here. And I don't want to get bitten by one. So hopefully I don't. But hopefully I can catch a fish. I'm just working my way down. Still using a little Senko. I got a bite earlier and uh, I didn't set the hook right. So it got away and it sucked because it was like my second cast and I've never caught a fish on my first or second cast. That would have been awesome. But I'm going to try this spot out here first for, uh, for a little bit. See if I catch anything or get any bites or anything like that. Oh yes guys. You see, you are you're looking at where you're looking. Nice bass. Check them out. Yes, 
cut them off right there. Oh my gosh. Heck yes. I'm pretty excited right now. Uh, he threw my Senko somewhere over here, which sucks. Uh, I'll probably look for it in a little bit. But I saw the Senko just fly. Check him out, guys. Nice little bass here. I don't know, probably, probably a pound, maybe a little less. The hook's way in there. You guys can't see it, but... Yeah, he kind of swallowed that. It's in like his, it's in his stomach. Oh, I wish he wouldn't have done that. Because look, he's bleeding very heavily. But, uh... Jesus, I'll try to take off... I'm going to try to take off the hook real quick, and I'll show you guys the release. Check him out, though. Little cinnamon sanko, 3 inch. Nice bass, I love it. There's the bass again. Now I couldn't get the hook out, which sucks. I feel really bad. It's really, it's really in his stomach, and I can't take it out, and I don't want to kill the fish. So I'll hopefully it dissolves in there, and he lives. <sighs> it sucks. I feel bad when I have to. Ay, ay, ay. But there it is. Uh, he's ready to go. I just feel so bad that the hook won't come out of his mouth. But I don't want to kill it, so I'm just gonna not rip out his guts. Maybe, maybe the hook will just dissolve and and come out by itself, you know. But uh, I hope so, cause I love these fish. Dang, he's biting onto my hand. Look at that, he's biting my hand. He's ready to go, though. I, oh, Jesus Christ! All right. See you later, bass. But yeah. This is where I caught him over there. I don't know if you guys can see those grass patches I threw right at the edge of them. And uh, I just took it, and it took it hard. Jesus, I just wish it wouldn't have swallowed it. It makes me feel so bad right now. But um, at least he lives, and he's gone now. Let's see if I can find my sinkle really quick. If I can't, it's all right. I'll put another one on. Heck yes, guys. I've only been here for like 30 minutes. No, I'd say 45 minutes and I already caught one. Awesome. So, that was my first bass. Hopefully I can catch another one for you guys. Stay tuned. Guys, I just had Chaser chasing my Senko right now. See, but basically what I'm doing is I'm casting... I don't know if you guys can see those plants in the water. Casting at the lines of them and letting my Senko just drop to the bottom. Hiding behind this tree. <laughs> Uh, hopefully I can get one of those guys. They weren't very big, but hey, uh, something's something. You know, I'm just dragging it along the bottom real slow. Ooh, something just jumped over. I'm gonna try and catch that one. Check it out, guys. Bass number two. This one's definitely a little bit smaller than that Senko. This one, I'm so happy that he just got lipped. I saw him when he went directly forward and took it right there, just where I was telling you guys. I just moved a little bit off the tree. Ah, oh, that's bass number two, baby. There he is. It's a nice little dink. I like it. Very happy about him. I'm just going to take out the hook real quick. Set him free. There he is. Here's the release real quick. Quick little release. And there he goes. Santa Fe Dam, guys. Having a blast. Ooh, there's a bunch of them in there. I'm gonna try and catch another one. Same sinker worm. This time he didn't take it. So hopefully I can catch another one right now. Alright, that's fish number three. Sinker worm again. Hooked him on the top of the lip. Same. Moved the spots a little bit. Kept my sinker worm. That worm already caught me too. Two bass. This is a little dinky, little tiny bass. It was still real fun to catch. <laughs> I'm gonna go let him go over here because over there I can't really get to the bottom very well. So let's see if I can. Perfect, perfect little release spot right here. Um, Alright, there he is, little tiny bass. Alright, little dude. Get out of here. Go. Oh. Uh oh. Uh, 
Okay, I think I might have to revive him a little bit. Which is alright. And there it goes. Sweet. So that's, uh, that's bass number three. Hopefully I can catch you guys some more. I'll be here for another, maybe an hour, maybe an hour and a half, see if I can get some more. Go get my rod before someone takes it. If All right, guys, this is bass number four. This one's a nice one, too. Like the first one, probably like a pound, give or take. Ah, yes, and I hooked him right in the lip, not like the first one. So let me just take off the hook real quick. Here it is, same Senko worm. Look at him. He fell in the grass right here. That's why he's all dirty. But uh, just right here, where I caught that other one. I'm going to set him free now. Yeah, nice looking bass. Look at him. Good day today, Santa Fe Dam. Fourth fish of the day. And there it goes. Now this little Senko, this is my Senko, the second Senko I've used from the package. And, uh, Hold on a second, uh, and it's done work. <laughs> Three bass already. It's like, look at that. It's like, it's like getting destroyed. But um, I'm gonna keep using it until it, you know, until it disintegrates. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna keep trying the spot. I already caught two here. I mean, pretty good spot. See if I can catch you some more fish. Senko worm, three inch, baby. First time ever using this bait. Doing wonders with it. All right, guys, bass number five. Another little dinky bass. Awesome. Got him right there. Same sinkle. This sinkle already caught me. What? Three fish or four? Uh, I think it was four. I don't know, but it caught me three or three or four. This little sinkle right there. There it is. Nice little bass. I'm gonna hook him real quick here. Oh, he ripped a little bit off his cheek. Jesus Christ, that was on there good. So there it is. Bass number five. Look at him. Shoot, that's my phone. Alright, there it goes. Guys, so that was my trip. Hope you guys enjoyed the video so far. I'm back home now. It's more fresh now. Earlier it was, it was hot. Earlier when I was over there. Uh, caught five fish. Very productive day. Was there for about two, two hours to two and a half. Not exactly sure when I got there, but um, awesome day. I hope, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you guys have any other suggestions on any other videos, uh, you know, I'll make them happen, you know, or do my best to make them happen. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, like I said. 